days after Saturday's flood event, some on social media are talking about New Orleans still being underwater. So for someone who isn't from here to make such an insinuation is, is inaccurate. The streets are dry as we speak, and I feel like people are always dumping on New Orleans. Some tourists say the tweets like this one are misleading and would have made them reconsider coming to the Big Easy to spend money. It'd make you think twice. Maybe wait till a week later, longer, find out what's going on a little bit more with the situation. Social media expert Sam Olmstead says these tweets can be damaging. I do, absolutely. I think that it's always easier to share something catastrophic whether it's flooding or natural disasters. And New Orleans has always had a, an issue with public perception when it comes to natural disasters. Parts of New Orleans were underwater Saturday into Sunday morning. Our WDSU meteorologists say the city got up to eight inches of rain, nine in some isolated areas. Gentilly to Lakeview, Mid-City to Treme, and parts of the CBD were all impacted. For several hours, homes and businesses dealt with standing water. One tweet that has been liked and reposted thousands of times says, did you know New Orleans is massively flooded right now? Neither did most people. This tweet reposted over 28,000 times. Um, it's definitely, it could be you know, misleading and change, it could change people's trip plans. I don't see any reason why people wouldn't be scared um, considering the news they're reading. Social media experts say one way to curb the inaccurate perceptions is to post the factual information instead. You know, I saw one the other day of a guy kayaking to a bar with a drink in his hand. It's always more fun to share those posts. They always get more traction on Instagram or Twitter, Facebook, because they are fun and funny. But if it's not actually what's happening, I would just urge people not to share that. Now, one place to start when you're talking about accurate information is the date. Take a look at when the article was posted. Sometimes that'll tell you right then and there if it's OK to post because it may not be timely. Tammy Eswick, WDSU News.